I'm Parth Vora reporting for Cal TV News. On March 18th, 2016, UC Berkeley student government unanimously passed a resolution advocating medical abortion services to be initiated on campus at the Tank Center, alleging accessibility and cost as primary daunting factors for students who face this crisis. Student Senator Anchal Chug spoke to Cal TV, giving her insights on the bill while encapsulating the benefits of this measure to be initiated. So the medicated abortion bill was passed in the ASCC Senate this past March and one of the things that I think is important to first recognize about the bill is that it's calling for medicated abortions, not surgical abortions. And so medicated abortions are when you I ingest a pill instead of surgery and which you would need more qualifications and more qualified physicians to receive. A lot of folks are saying that, well, abortion is just going to promote unsafe sex or reckless teenage behavior. That's not the purpose of abortion. Abortion is a very emotional process for the woman. Student health is a moral and valuable thing that we cannot say is immoral or devilish. There's nothing against God by saying that we want to advocate for student health. Coming from different backgrounds and cultures, students at UC Berkeley have diverse perspectives. Subjects interviewed express their varied opinions both approving and disapproving the bill. It's important um, to realize that the university has committed itself, um, at least in theory, to student health. Um, and they've also committed themselves to providing uh, the full spectrum of pregnancy options. Uh, because medical abortion is, um, it can be done very easily at the tank center with the existing resources that they already have. I don't think um, it would require a lot of additional infrastructure. Despite the loaded, you know, cultural, political, and religious valence of abortion, it is an essential medical service. It's a basic, fundamental right. So I believe the abortion rights movement as a whole expresses a mentality that is degrading to women. It's degrading in the sense that it forces women to see their pregnancy as a crisis rather than an empowering act that should be supported by society. I think the ASUC resolution would further stigmatize pregnant and parenting students on campus. It's also the killing of a human life. At the moment of fertilization, a unique DNA code that is distinctly human and unique all in its own is existing in the fetus. Therefore, it is a human being. We also need to empathize with the girls who suffer because of not being able to carry out abortion. I really feel that if we are a liberal community, we should be in favor of this bill and not against this bill. The president of Students for Life at Berkeley spoke to Cal TV, expressing her concerns and apprehensions. The bill carries the attitude that forces women into choosing between their child and their education, which is something that no student should ever have to do. The administrators should focus on education and instead put their money into supporting women who are parents so that they can continue their education while supporting their children. Although this resolution has yet not been implemented by the Tank Center, the University Health Services completely supports women's access to the full spectrum of contraception, emergency contraception, abortion and other pregnancy alternatives. They believe that the Berkeley campus is well surrounded by a network of high-quality individual providers and community clinics who can provide these services efficiently. The university believes that it is not common for abortion services to be performed on college campuses. And in recent years, the need has decreased significantly. Disability rights advocates on campus fear that the university is failing to meet the needs of disabled students. 